What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a really, really special day because I'm taking you guys with me through my entire day. It's been a minute since we've done a chill day in the life vlog. It's been a minute since we've just chilled you and I. It's about time. You guys have been asking me a bunch of questions on Instagram, so I figured the best way for me to answer them is to chill with you guys. I'm going to be vlogging this entire video on the iPhone 14 Pro because one of the questions that you guys have asked me is whether the iPhone 14 Pro is a good vlogging camera. I'm recording all the tech videos on the channel on the iPhone 14 Pro. I'm currently using the front facing camera, the selfie camera, cinematic mode, 4K. 25 frames per second and I think the image looks absolutely amazing so I hope you guys are pumped let's do this That was so much fun. So it's swimming after a really, really long time. And this guy over here, the Apple Watch Ultra, has been magnificent. I'm pretty sure any Apple Watch is great for swimmers, but I started swimming after a decade of just running. <laughs> I stopped swimming as a child. Heading home now. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So I just got done with my shower. At this point, I'm just gonna go get some breakfast. Probably get some eggs this morning. Even Junior a little bit because he is ultra charged as always. And I'm probably gonna just check my reminders, see what the plan is for the day. It is a really special day, but I'm gonna tell you guys about it in a little bit. Oh yeah, breakfast time. So normally after breakfast, I'll check my reminders, see what's up for the day, what the plan is. Today is a really special day. I have to head out to the Apple store in the morning. It is a day of upgrades. I am picking up the new Apple TV 4K from 2022. Never really owned an Apple TV. I have had HomePods, AirPods, iPads, the Mac, you name it, iPhones, obviously. But I've never really had an Apple TV and that's basically because I never really knew I needed it. I've been looking at the reviews for the new Apple TV. Majority of my audio equipment being AirPods or HomePod. Getting an Apple TV is just essential. Plus, I'm really pumped about the entire Apple Arc fiasco where you connect an Xbox controller and play Apple Arcade games on my TV. So yeah, I am a little pumped about that. Also, my dad's expected to come back tomorrow after like six months of being on board. So we are picking up a brand new phone for him today. We're picking up the iPhone 14 for him. So that's the first part of the day. The second part of the day basically involves Bonobo concert. Now, I don't know if you guys know about Bonobo, but Bonobo is a British DJ who plays basically chill music, but his music is very different to a lot of the other chill DJs. The very euphoric, basically blends sounds from all over the world. DJ that I've been following for a very long time. And there's another DJ called Duelist Inquiry who's going to be performing in Mumbai as the opening act for Bonobo. So there's a gig that's happening tonight. We're going for the concert. I'm going to film all of this on the iPhone 14 Pro. With the 14s, the fact that I'm using a front-facing camera right now, I can see myself. I'm using the internal audio on the iPhones. There's no mic attached at the moment. I just have a tiny tripod, which is the Peak Design tripod, which I'll show you in a minute. Super convenient because this device is always in my pocket. So I don't technically need to carry my action camera everywhere if I can pull this off. I'm going to go get a little bit of editing done now that I've done with my breakfast. For anyone who's been wondering, I have shifted completely over to my iPad Pro. I got rid of my MacBook. I don't have any MacBooks for the first time. The last time I shifted to the iPad Pro, I did have a MacBook, but I just didn't use it as much. That time, the software on the iPad was a little limited. It is still pretty limited, to be completely honest, but with DaVinci Resolve now on the iPad, getting you 85% of the desktop-based features, I think the iPad is a pretty viable video editing tool now, considering I have the M2 iPad Pro with 12.9-inch display. It's pretty big, and the Magic Keyboard. I've been loving using a mobile setup. It's a lot easier to carry around. I could bring it off the keyboard whenever I want and I've been enjoying this entire workflow so far but I will make a more detailed video about my iPad setup and why I switched from a Mac to an iPad. I know it's not conventional but I am enjoying it and if you're a seafarer I definitely recommend skipping out on a Mac and getting an iPad because it's the best content consumption device and that's the primary reason why you would even need a computer as a seafarer because we work on ships. Here's a quick rundown on all the tech that I'm using right now. This is my Jovi Gorilla Pod with a phone mount on top. Design is basically the ultimate shooting grip by Peak Design, but you have to use their case, which is a little annoying and I don't like that. I like using my own cases on my iPhone. DJI Osmo Action 3 Adventure Combo with the really cool battery case and the cage. And of course the DJI mics, which are over here, which like I said, I am not using 
today. So for all you gamers out there, you guys know I love my Nintendo Switch, but this guy is one of my favorite consoles ever. I've been an Xbox gamer for a very long time and I absolutely love using the Xbox Series S. It's been fantastic. I do have a bunch of controllers for it and I have a bunch of extra controllers here in my drawer. This is the little tech spot in my room. I do film a large amount of unboxings right here and the Apple TV is going to be coming right here and hooking onto that TV, so super excited. <laughs> The Apple TV is going to take a little bit of time, so we thought we'd come get some lunch. My dad's new iPhone. I'm convincing my mum to get a new iPhone, but we haven't managed to do that yet. We're waiting for a particular color, the lavender wasn't available, and the vlog's going to continue. Okay, so I just got home, a quick shower in. I'm currently heading out now for the Bonobo concert. I'm going to meet up a couple of friends. We're going to go pre-game. Then we're heading to the Lalit for the Bonobo concert. So this is probably the best part, the most exciting part of the day. Also, the iPhone 14 Pro's camera has been absolutely mind-blowing. I've had a great experience just filming on the device that's been in my hands. It's been pretty great overall. This is being filmed in cinematic mode using the front-facing camera. Really nice. Anyway, see you guys in a little bit. Realized that I forgot to film an outro for this video. It's, uh, seven o'clock in the morning. The next morning I wasn't out till right now, but I was out till pretty late. And I went to the airport after the entire concert to pick up my dad. My dad's come back from a sea, so it was pretty great to finally see him. You guys can see I am super sleep deprived at this point, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. This was 24 hours, my entire day in the life with the iPhone 14, completely filmed on the iPhone 14 Pro. Hope you guys enjoyed the entire video. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you guys think about the quality of the iPhone. Really leave comments short on iPhone if you've made it to here. This was a complete vlog shot on the iPhone 14 Pro. Bonobo was absolutely mind-blowing. What an amazing concert, you guys. It's definitely one of the best concerts I've been to in the last 10 years.